If you're interested in the $25,000 Tesla Model 2, here are the key facts you need to know about the cheapest electric car of 2025. We've decoded the entire exterior design, interior, and even performance specs for the Model 2 that Tesla will implement after all the leaked information. There are at least two versions, single motor and dual motor for this next-gen vehicle, with price differences but still within a cheaper range than the Model 3. So how is Elon Musk pushing it with the unbox process? First and foremost, you need to know that despite being introduced as a smaller version of the Model Y and Model 3, this next-gen EV is actually not very related to its predecessors. With what's been leaked about the Model 2 $25,000, we dare you to assert that it'll feature a compact crossover design with a futuristic flair that rivals even the Cybertruck, along with a groundbreaking NV9X production platform that's shaken up the entire industry. But let's delve into the specifics of the vehicle's design first. Official information from Tesla about the Model 2 has only leaked through a teaser image presented at a shareholder meeting in May 2023, suggesting that a smaller Model Y design streamlined at the front end seemingly easy to transition into production. The overall look of this model aligns with internal sources indicating that Elon Musk has developed the next-gen vehicle in the style of a compact crossover. Compared to the Model Y's overall length of 187 inches, this next-generation vehicle is expected to be significantly shorter, ranging from 160 to 172 inches, a size similar to many compact crossover models on the market. If the leaks about this vehicle are accurate, then the front end will be minimalist to the point of surprise. The Model 2 might not feature large headlights like the Model 3 and Y. Instead, Tesla seems to be focusing on developing a front light strip for this model. However, don't expect too much from it because we believe it won't receive as much investment as the light strip on the Cybertruck. It's clear that this light strip will be smaller, with two smaller headlight clusters on either end, creating an overall lighting system that's neither too weak nor too strong to boast about. Many viewpoints suggest that the Model 2 will have a slightly angular front end, like the Cybertruck, to emphasize Tesla's futuristic features. However, according to us, this doesn't seem to be the case. Tesla has no reason to do this, as they've learned a valuable lesson from the Cybertruck regarding the challenges posed by its angular design especially with stainless steel being difficult to bend even with Tesla's full manufacturing capabilities at Giga Texas. Not only analysts, but even Tesla themselves acknowledge that this ultra-durable material is one of the reasons hindering the production process of off-road vehicles. Therefore, the idea that this $25,000 vehicle will be the next vehicle to use stainless steel is an unfeasible hypothesis because at the very least, it increased costs and slowed down the production progress of the next-gen vehicle. While many fans predict that using larger wheels will increase the sportiness and prestige of the vehicle, some experts argue the opposite, suggesting that opting for smaller wheels around 16 to 17 inches is actually the most sensible choice for the Tesla Model 2. This choice not only provides a balance between aesthetics and performance, but also offers significant fuel savings. Smaller wheels help reduce unsprung weight, thereby improving driving performance and fuel efficiency. Why is Model 2 able to be produced with two versions. It wouldn't be wrong to say that the Model 2 is the simplest model of Tesla before the introduction of the robo-taxi. Many discussions have erupted regarding whether this affordable vehicle will be designed to both crossover and hatchback styles. This seems partly reasonable because Musk has confirmed that besides the Texas plant in North America, it'll also be introduced in Europe under the production participation of Giga Berlin, where the market preferences are quite different from those in North America. On the other hand, Tesla needs two body styles because they require international sales volume to surpass BYD quickly. Crossover models have broad appeal worldwide, but when considering the three major markets of North America, Europe, and Asia, there are significant differences. Therefore, it'd be quite appropriate for the Model 2 hatchback to be sold in Europe, while the compact crossover designs reserved for North American customers. What do you think about this situation? If the exterior of the vehicle has completely departed from Tesla's traditional design approach to focus more on a futuristic style, then it's likely the interior of the model will undergo an interesting adjustment compared to other models. What do you think about the possibility that the $25,000 model will only have two seats with the rear seat removed to create a luggage area? This design fits well with a compact and minimalist car that Tesla could implement. However, it doesn't seem to be happening, which means the Model 2 will still have five seats as usual, and the space will have to accommodate for being a bit tight due to the structure and size of a compact car. The reason we reject the hypothesis of two seats is because, as you know, two-seaters are not popular in the U.S., and Tesla would struggle to sell many Model 2s if this design approach was applied. 
Not stopping there, the interior of the Model 2, although it may not be too bad, we dare to say it'll receive less investment compared to Model 3 and Model Y in terms of cabin systems, such as materials, a smaller control screen of around 12 inches, and fewer audio speakers. Of course, this is a simplification aimed at achieving the $25,000 price point, as the manufacturer is committed. Why will the Model 2 be built in a never-before-seen way? Do you know the familiar Honda Civic? We have noted information that Tesla engineers directly disassembled this car to understand how Honda efficiently produces a crossover with a price tag of $23,000. Of course, Elon will not be applying Honda's manufacturing methods because at least we're aware of Tesla's unbox process, a miraculous manufacturing platform at the Texas factory that allows 10,000 vehicles to roll out every week. For those who are not familiar with this process, specifically, groups of people and robots will work together to completely assemble the separate parts of the car before combining them together in one go. For example, the doors will be fabricated, painted, wired, and the door panels will be assembled off the car before being bolted to the end of the line. This means that the car is only completely built once. Musk claims that this will deliver a 30% improvement in time, space, and efficiency, as well as make the car about 50% cheaper than Model 3 and Model Y. Unbox process is more like building Legos than a traditional production line. Instead of a large rectangular car moving along a linear conveyor belt, parts are assembled simultaneously in dedicated areas and then sub-assemblies are all put together at the end. Tesla says the change could reduce manufacturing footprints by more than 40%, allowing the car maker to build future plants far faster and at less expense. If the new assembly process is successful, Tesla says it can slash production costs in half. That will be key to delivering a cheap enough car to stoke demand that slowed as of late and pressured the electric car maker's stock price. Lars Moravi, Tesla's VP of Vehicle Engineering, stated that during the company's investment day in March of last year, if we're gonna scale the way we wanna do, we have to rethink manufacturing again. Musk emphasized that this would be a manufacturing line unlike any seen before, and this $25,000 car would represent a significant revolution. Considering both the manufacturing technology and Elon's statements, launching the next-gen car next year is entirely feasible. Why would the Model 2 performance specs be controversial? When it comes to the performance specs of the Model 2, the new LFP battery from Cattle is indeed the weapon that will help this next-gen vehicle surpass its numerous competitors. But first, let's talk about some of the specs it might achieve. Elon, in a bold statement, emphasized that a 300-mile range is sufficient for everyday driving without worrying about reaching supercharging stations. This truly sets a new standard for the automotive industry, and Tesla models are aiming for this goal, depending on the specific version. With rumors suggesting a battery pack capacity of around 54 kilowatt hours for Tesla's Model 2, it can be predicted that the driving range of this vehicle might decrease significantly below the 300-mile mark. Instead of the initially expected range, a single charge may only ensure 250 to 270 miles, a figure that's still impressive but less than what was initially hoped for. Analysts from Evercore are also predicting that the Tesla Model 2 may only achieve around 250 miles from the 53 kilowatt hour battery pack, although this type of battery is believed to be about 30% lighter than that in the Model 3. However, despite the slight reduction in range, if the final price of the Tesla Model 2 is maintained at around $25,000 before any discounts or tax incentives, then this is indeed a trade-off that many people might be willing to accept. You may have heard about the advanced features of electric vehicles introduced alongside the Cybertruck, such as the low-voltage architecture that will likely become an integral part of the Model 2 instead of the traditional 12-volt system in current models like the Model 3 as confirmed because during the fourth quarter earnings call, Tesla was asked which of the Cybertruck's gateway technologies will make it over to future models, and the 48-volt system was the first one that popped up in the head of vehicle engineering Lars Moravi's reply. We're obviously doing a lot of manufacturing innovation, as Elon said, for a next-generation vehicle. Sure, 48 volts is definitely something we want to carry forward, and it's something we hope the industry adopts as well. With such modern architecture, Tesla is demonstrating its commitment to providing advanced and efficient solutions for the electric vehicle industry. The 48-volt electrical system not only significantly saves energy, but also opens up broader possibilities for the vehicle. This energy-saving feature not only helps the Model 2 travel further with a fixed amount of battery, but also enhances a diverse range of performance benefits for users. 
The ability to accelerate faster and efficiently recover energy from braking are also advantages provided by this 48-volt system, enhancing the overall performance of the vehicle. Additionally, Tesla is also preparing for the upgrade to the new Supercharger V4, providing a powerful and significant 350 kilowatt power output for Model 2. Moreover, the Model 2 will be equipped with the next-generation HW4 full self-driving, featuring a state-of-the-art 3NM processor inside, promising superior autonomous driving experience and safety for users. Returning to Tesla's newly confirmed cattle battery, although it may not provide the Model 2 with a 300-mile operating range, it can be compensated by extending the battery's lifespan to over 200,000 miles. So, how fast will Tesla's Model 2 charge with the new cattle LFP battery? Exactly, not the 2170 or 4680 battery, but precisely LFP has been upgraded compared to previous generations, which can be called the LFP Gen 2. Traditionally, we're accustomed to the notion that LFP batteries don't perform well in cold weather, and their charging efficiency is often affected. However, these new types of batteries have changed that perception. Specifically, these new batteries will perform better in cold weather conditions, especially in areas like Chicago, with the ability to charge at speeds of up to 550 kilowatts when the temperature drops below zero degrees Celsius. This is truly remarkable and makes one wonder about the potential of this battery technology. However, new information about the Model 2 suggests that its charging speed appears to be more stable at around 350 kilowatts to maintain battery longevity, which is crucial given the expense of replacing such a battery. Importantly, to achieve this high 350 kilowatt charging speed, the battery packs also need to prioritize longer lifespan. What's interesting here is that the energy density of the new LFP battery packs will actually increase by 10 to 15 percent, and that'll enable larger driving ranges and better efficiency, or achieving the same range with fewer cells at a lower cost. The new LFP battery cells are said to be the world's first cells capable of supporting 4C charging, meaning ultra-fast charging from 0 to 100 percent in just 15 minutes, or from 0 to 80% in just 10 minutes, as demonstrated by Cattle's tests. With these improvements, it seems that the Model 2 will be capable of providing a larger driving range than initially thought, achieving around 250 to 270 miles as previously mentioned. Compared to most other automakers, Tesla's greatest advantage lies in its ability to mass-produce with multiple battery productions in the United States. Therefore, the news that Cattle is sending equipment to the U.S. to directly support the production of these LFP Gen 2 batteries at the Nevada factory is a noteworthy signal of the development of the electric vehicle industry. If Tesla is committed to the Model 2 project, they will likely develop at least two variants, one with a single motor and one with dual motors, or it could be the Model 2 standard range and long range. This strategy would be smart to cater to the diversity of the market. If this happens, we predict that the Model 2 standard range could achieve around 250 miles of range, while the premium version could reach about 290 miles, with prices ranging from $25,000 to $30,000. Although it may sound vague, looking from the perspective that Tesla typically applies to their electric vehicle models, this is entirely logical. It's also a way to demonstrate flexibility in both pricing and performance aspects of the model. The Model 2 is unlikely to be equipped with a tri-motor configuration because this would simply increase complexity in the production process and incur unnecessary costs for such a simple vehicle. The Model 2 will not just be an EV, but an icon of technological advancement and progress in the automotive industry. It promises to bring about a revolution in the field of transportation. When this $25,000 electric vehicle hits the market, it will not only be an option for the upper class, but also a practical choice for the majority of the population. With an expected price range of $20,000 to $25,000, the Model 2 will become the first car in history that 80% of the population can afford. As we mentioned above, thanks to the unboxed process, the initial production target that Tesla is aiming for the Model 2 at Giga Texas is reportedly 10,000 vehicles per week. 
equivalent to about half a million vehicles per year. This figure is significantly different from the goal of producing 4 million affordable electric vehicles annually that the company has set, but production can ramp up quickly, and by 2026, the company may have achieved 2 out of 2 million units of the Model 2 allocated to Gigatexes and other plants. Interestingly, the period from 2025 to 2026 is when most other electric vehicle manufacturers are announcing affordable electric car models priced under $25,000 for the mass market. The emergence of the Model 2 will change the competitive landscape in the electric vehicle market. With its advanced features and competitive pricing, it will mark the end for many competing rivals, including well-known names like the Chevy Bolt, the Toyota Corolla, and Nissan's Leaf. Additionally, traditional fuel-powered vehicles will face strong competitive pressure from the Model 2, especially considering its ability to directly compete in terms of price and performance. However, it's not just about the price. The Model 2 also brings cost-saving benefits in manufacturing. With significant reductions at manufacturing costs estimated to be around 37% compared to Model 3, Tesla has demonstrated its commitment to creating high-performance products at reasonable prices. Much of this difference comes from making the car smaller and lighter, allowing for the use of more advanced materials and manufacturing technologies. Another part comes from improvements in designs and manufacturing processes that Tesla has developed and implemented. With all its potential and promises, the Model 2 is not just a new car, but also an icon of innovation and progress in the automotive industry. It's not just a mode of transportation, it's a part of daily life bringing convenience, savings, and environmental protection to millions of people worldwide. And with all this, there's no doubt that the Model 2 will be the most significant car since Ford's Model T, marking a new milestone in the history of the automotive industry. So, what do you think about the info related to Model 2 in today's episode? And what performance specs and features do you expect to appear in this EV Gen 3? We want to hear your valuable contributions. If you're interested and want to learn more about the next-gen vehicle, check out our other episodes on the Tesla Car World channel. We hope you'll have the most relaxing feelings after watching this video. If you did, please hit the like button and join the Tesla Car World family by subscribing to our channel. And don't miss out on any of our awesome videos by hitting the bell icon. We value your feedback and your time. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you soon. Until then, stay safe and have fun.